Hello, my name is Kwame. I'm a trainee pharmacist and also a mental health advocate. I do mental health advocacy because of personal experiences and also the research I have actually done to actually see that it's one of the biggest conditions within our community which is not talked about much. Henceforth, having interest in public speaking has inspired me and motivated me uh, as someone in the healthcare and so as a young person as well to also add my voice and educate my community regarding to mental health conditions. It's a broad term, but it's an umbrella of different conditions, talk of anxiety, talk of depression, talk of um, schizophrenia, talk of bipolar. So just to name a few. So my aim, as I said previously, is to educate people also, it's a way for me to also take my own mental health serious as well because as an advocate, because I do a lot of research, I do have a lot of learning, if I'm also in my state of poor mental health, I'm able to recognize it and be able to get the help that as I need. As the saying goes, no man is an island. We all need people who are going to be accountable or um, who, got, or who are going to be an accountable, share accountability of our mental health. So any single person, be it a child, be it an adult, be it a male, be it a female, be it African, be it Caucasian, we can all develop poor mental health. And my aim is to be able to eradicate the stigmatism, especially in the black community that we are coming from, to be able to make it an everyday topic, an everyday conversation that even if a young person is experiencing it, they will be able to get the support that they need without any fear without bottling anything within themselves. So the journey actually started way back in 2017 to actually add my voice to it using my social media platform because when I did the research regarding to the World Health Organization, um, social media platforms is one of the spaces that a lot of people develop poor mental health because of um, cyberbullying based on different factors. And a lot of them, the target age is younger people because of a picture they've posted or a troll that someone has decided to use as an advantage to um, make these young people become their praise and everything. So I actually thought how much that, you know, instead of posting pictures or everything, because prior to that, as I said, as um, a motivational speaker or as a speaker in general, I always want to actually post something on my Instagram page to send a message to someone and I always hammer it on a positive message. So when I actually discovered this kind of purpose, which is advocacy, which is speaking, I realized that it's a very good topic for me to utilize my social media platform to engage people. And plus being in the healthcare sector, I realized that it's really, really important that I can actually pick that kind of topic and actually magnify it and to let other people to able to understand the importance of good mental health because every single person um, deserves a good mental health and it can be achieved through ways such as taking social media breaks which I'm a prime example of that. Um, I end up actually taking breaks. The, the longest I've actually been away from my social media platform was six months which was my Instagram. I took the break to actually be able to focus on myself because sometimes we get lost on social media we get lost of the reality of life because everything is on social media and everything you know but taking a break will help you to actually you know recuperate yourself get new energy to be able to actually channel what you really want to actually achieve in life because as much as people are posting you have to remember that you have to be also doing well in your real life you have to be focusing on your real goals in real life as well because Lots of people use the social media platform as, or their social media page as, um, as let's say, a board for them to post their success. Not every single person will post their failure. Majority of those people will share with you their regrets in life. They'll share with you some of the bumps they've experienced, but majority of people will rather share with you the end goal, which is their success, rather than showing you, um, taking you through a journey of war and how they actually, um, they actually went through 
this tends to actually end up creating a lot of pressure on a lot of people, you know. So I thought as much that I could actually help people every single day if I'm able to post one fact or if I'm able to post something educated, if I'm able to post something mental health related. It can make people who are on the other side of my screen be able to know that someone is actually being the voice for them. Because remember, people who are going through such instances, which when I went through, I find it very difficult to voice it out because I went online to actually do my research and I actually found out that the symptoms which I was experiencing such as um, severe headaches which took, it, it took days I was having about 3 days of intense headaches taking paracetamol is not helping I was losing self interest in myself I was losing the momentum and I was losing the purpose for a lot of stuff which is not me Hence, it really called for concern and I realized that it was signs of depression because of the loss of a family member. So, me being able to gain the confidence to actually speak about my journey, which I've been doing it for the past four years, um, has been able to become very successful to a lot of people. Lots of people have shared personal stories by me opening myself. Lots of people too has really been inspired and are still motivating me and pushing me to be able to move forward and you know use my platform always to educate people because um, I find it very inspiring as well because I feel like it's not about the likes the views but it's about the impact if even one day I get a message from someone saying that oh from looking at your post I've been I've been educated or from looking at your post it has prompted me to seek for help with my regarding my mental health i believe that is a success to me so it's something that i've started i don't know when it's going to end but so far as i'm alive by god's grace i'm going to continue to use my channels i'm going to actually let it flow through my conversations and be able to also engage a lot of people to actually um talk about it you know to also become advocates and there are so many courses which they are actually, it's free courses by the Health England, which they are looking for people to actually become mental health first aid because every single person, if for example, you're in a group of 10 and at least three people have signed up to such a course, they will be able to end up getting a better mental health because they know who to, who to actually approach and discuss their mental health with them. So every single person deserves a good mental health and I'm using this video to encourage anyone who is going through hard times, anyone who is actually on treatment for any mental health condition to, to persevere and to continue because there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And I believe that as we make progress, you're going to actually end up finding um, a good mental health. And wherever you are, whichever corner you are, I'm just I just know that by God's grace, you're going to actually achieve their success and your health is going to improve than you even imagined. Thank you. Thank you.